Hey guys, Van Buren 20 back again. Today is going to be the full review on Kirby's Epic Yarn. Guys, I've had this game since it came out. I went to the midnight release and it exceeded my expectations. The only thing I don't like about it is it's kind of a little tad on the easy side, but other than that, the gameplay is flawless. The multiplayer is fantastic. I play it with my daughter all the time. It's a really, really fantastic game. As far as two players goes, I really cannot show you guys that right now because I'm playing by myself. But it's just like the one player game, it's just one person, the other person is playing right next to you and it just works fantastic. It kind of reminds me of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. But I think, I don't know, I think it works maybe a little bit better in this game. I don't know why. It just seems like you can work more together in this than you can on, uh, in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I just don't know why. Uh, is it better than New Super Mario Bros. Wii? Of course not, but... I mean, it's a Kirby game, and it exceeded my expectation. Let's just put it that way. Is it worth the 50 bucks? Of course it is. Let's go ahead and get this review underway. Uh, I've already beaten this game a while back. I got 91% complete on it. Uh, to get 100%, you got to literally collect everything, and I haven't collected everything yet. But, yeah, so it gives you a lot of replay value if you want to collect everything. Uh, the game only takes you, like, 7 to 8 hours to beat, but I don't know. And seeing that it is winter time right now, and the holidays is just now over, I figure what other uh, level to show you guys than the snow level. It's all Christmas type themed, and I really, really enjoy it. And since Christmas just passed, I figured why not show a Christmassy level. So let's get off with the controls. The control, Kirby, you just hold the Wii Remote sideways. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can actually transform into a car like this. And to do that, all you do is tap the direction pad twice in the direction that you're going. So it's pretty easy. Uh, to jump, you just use the two button. To do a ground pound, you just jump and push down. Pretty easy. And another control that he has is when you flow, uh, when you're uh, jump, you can actually float like an umbrella or a parachute type deal. Uh, to safety, you just hit the jump button twice and hold it in. So really easy controls. And uh, his main function that you're going to be doing is his little yarn whip or whatever you want to call it. And to do the, and uh, what the purpose of this is is uh, to unravel your enemies because they're all made out of yarn, hence the name Kirby's Epic Yarn. But yeah, you can pick up stuff and unravel things, and you'll be using that a lot. So I'll show you a couple levels. I'm just going to show you like half of this level, and then I'm going to jump into another level to show you guys what it's all about. Now let me shut up, you guys can listen to the music because the soundtrack on this game is really fantastic, I really do enjoy it. As you can see, I can pick up stuff, or I can just unravel them. I'll show you here in a second. See, you can unravel things just like that. And yes, I know I'm skipping a lot of secret stuff because I'm just showing you guys gameplay right now. And as you can see, you cannot die. That's my biggest complaint in the game, is you cannot die. No matter how many times you fall down an edge, you will not die. Watch this, I'll do it again. When you get, uh, you get brought back to safety, and all you do is lose your uh, gems that you lost, and you just literally cannot die. And what that means is, no matter how bad you are in the game, you're eventually gonna beat the game, and that's my biggest complaint with the game. It's too easy, and you just cannot die. There's no health meter, and there's no lives. You literally cannot die. So that is my biggest complaint with the game. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Just the, the fact that it's really easy and I don't know. But it, I mean, it's still worth the money, I do, I, I believe. Alright, that's pretty much all I'm going to show of this level, guys. Uh, I got another 
cool level that I want to show you guys. Uh, it's really fun. I had a blast playing this level. I'll show, I'll show you. Because you can kind of slide through the whole level. I mean, you don't have to, but it's really, really fun. I think it's this one up here. Let me show you guys this one. Yeah, the Frosty Wheel. This is a really fun level. If I have time, I'll show you the whole level of this one. But yeah, guys, really, really fantastic game. I mean, I just love the music. Every level has a different type of music, and it's real relaxing and soothing, and it's just all around a great game. I mean, if you're looking for a game to play with your kids, I mean, I highly recommend you pick this one up. I mean, the way the level designs and everything on this is just... It's just fantastic. I, I just can't get over it. And since it's be ice, and if you turn into your car, you actually turn into like a bobsled or a sled. That's kind of cool. This game is mostly about collecting stuff, so if you like to play a game to collect everything, you'll really enjoy this game too. And this game is nothing like all the other Kirby games. You'll notice Kirby does not have the special ability to steal people's uh, powers and stuff. I mean, it doesn't even really feel like a Kirby game, which is actually a good thing for me because I'm not the biggest Kirby fan, and this has become one of my favorite Kirby games. It's a really, really great side-scroller. Kirby, float to your doom. slippery in this level. And at the end of the level, you just pull the little wheel and you get a little bonus there. That's pretty much all for me right now, guys. It's my little review on Kirby's Epic Yarn. Fantastic game. I can't recommend it enough, guys. So if you're a big Kirby fan or if you're not a Kirby fan, this is a lot different. If you're a, if you're a big fan of side-scrollers and platformers, I really do highly recommend this game, especially if you like games that you like you collect a lot of stuff. has a lot of replay value here, guys. Really lot, lots of fun. I really highly recommend it. 
pretty much all for me right now, guys, and there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.